Here we'll take a look at converting fractions to decimals and percentages. So in our first example, we're converting 1 over 5. First we'll convert it to a decimal. So to convert to a decimal, you simply divide the denominator, which in this case is 5, into the numerator, which is 1. So 1 divided by 5 is equal to 0 0.2. Next, find a percentage. So 1 over 5. Remember, percent means per 100. So we have to find out what 1 over 5 is in terms of over 100. So 1 over 5 is equal to what over 100? So to find that, 5 into 100 goes 20 times. 20 times 1 is 20. So 1 over 5 is the same as 20 over 100, which is the same as 20%. Because remember, percent means per 100. An easier method for finding the percentage is just to multiply by 100 over 1. So that's an alternative. So 1 by 100 is 100. 5 by 1 is 5. 100 divided by 5 is equal to 20. It's 20%. So it will give you the same answer every time. And it's probably a little more straightforward. Our next example is 2 over 7. So first we'll convert it to a decimal. So to convert it to a decimal, we divide 7 into 2. And you can see in the calculator on the right hand side, that gives you an answer of 0 0.2857, so on. Which is quite a long answer. So I'm going to round that off to four places. So my answer is going to be 0 0.2857. Now I'll just explain why that is. So we're rounding it off to four places. So 2857. So 7 is the last number. So when rounding it off, go to the last number and check the next number beside it. So the next number beside it is 1. If that number was 5 or greater, when rounding it off, I'd increase the 7 up to 8. So if the number beside the last digit is 5 or greater, you round it up. So instead of 7, I would have written down 8. But seeing as the last number, which is 7, only has a 1 beside it, a number that's less than 5, I just keep the 7 as it is. So the number beside the last digit, if it's less than 5, leave it as it is. If it's 5 or greater, then you round it up to the next number, which in this case would have been 8. Next, we'll find the percentage. So to do that, it's 2 over 7 multiplied by 100 over 1. So that gives us 200 over 7. 7 into 200 gives us 28.57%. Our next example is 8 over 9. So again, to find the decimal, we divide the denominator 9 into numerator 8. And that gives us 0 0.888 recurring. So you can see on the right hand side the answer you get in the calculator. It's 0 0.888 and the 8 just keeps on going. So anytime you have a recurring decimal, so it could be 0 0.333 recurring or 0 0.666 recurring, you just put in say three decimal places should be enough and then put a dot in the top right to indicate that it's recurring. Next we'll find the percentage, so it's 8 over 9, multiplied by 100 over 1. That gives us 800 divided by 9, which will give us 88.89%. So with percentage, we usually just round it off to about two places. That should be sufficient. So 88.89, so it was 88 point, it was 8, 8, but the next number was 8, which is 5 or greater. So we round up last number. So we want to go to two places. It was 0.88 but the next number was 8 which is 5 or greater. So we round the last number up to 9. So that gives us a final answer of 88.89%.